So guys, in this video we are going to see about how to repair flash autoclave and as you can see this is a function we can use it like unwrapped wrap things and customer told me they are not getting heat after 60, 65 I guess so initially we have to open the things up and see what is happening flash autoclave is especially used in dental units because they are having a lot of instruments so they have to sterilize it uh, uh, frequently so so they are using the autoclave flash autoclave then any other department okay now we have to open the door In this type of autoclave, I mean GTD type, if you are switching on the unit, the uh, heater will automatically switching on. So when it comes to 40, 40 degree, that preheating will be started. There are 5 phases available, like preheating, heating, drying, vacuuming. So LD means load, DO means door open, PO. So we should wait for 40 degree then only preheating will be started after PO it will be like PE it will show PE so let's wait for 40 degree Now the temperature is raised up to 42 degrees Celsius, 43. Now it will be going to preheating stage. Uh, as you can see, it's a preheating phase. In this phase, this this is a control panel, and this is a control board, and this is a vacuum pump when you hear this sound it will inject the steam into the chamber so if it fails it won't work it won't work and it won't give the proper heat because water water boiling point will be 100 degrees celsius so if it is if it is pressured under pressurized then only it will be going up to that 120 to uh, 134 degrees celsius so I'm hearing a sound. Let's wait for 64 degree as customer told. Now the temperature is 60 degrees Celsius, which is not moving afterwards. So this complaint the customer told me earlier. So we have to open the left side door to see what is happening because there is one water pump and solenoid pump is there. So when I open this door. I saw some leaking water leaking from the water pump and left side one water pump and right side solenoid valve is there so I am suspecting solenoid valve now before that we need to switch off the unit and and tighten this screw 
towards the leakage so i'm going to tight it so now we can assume that water pump is working fine but i am still suspecting on this solenoid pump on right side open the solenoid pump and see what is happening now i open as you can see orifice and diaphragm is stuck stuck to the inside so we have to remove this orifice so better solution is wd40 so i'm using it and give a nice spray and it will be coming out you can use more wd40 where the rusted parts will be make this kind of issues and I from came out now we have to clean this thing we have to clean this clear clearly and uh, put it back to the old night make sure the spring action is working fine yeah as you can see I have to test it before fix it to the old night and that's it now i fixed everything and water is not leaking from it and water pump is fine let's switch on the unit now we can wait for another error if it is happening or let's wait for the machine which will be working good now there is no leakage and heat is also going up earlier we saw only 60 degrees celsius but it is now it is going after 70 degrees celsius i am checking the magnetic force on solenoid valve this is working fine and as you can see heat is going up and this is the preheating stage when the pressure is coming to 1 bar the heat will be 121 and then it will be releasing uh, to the 0 bar and after that it will be going up again uh, for 2 bar which is like 134 degrees celsius and then dry drying stage will be started So I hope the machine is ready now.
I told earlier, earlier first step of uh, drying is started on 1.1 bar pressure and then it will be going to 0 bar and after that again the same procedure will be done like it will be going up, uh, up to 134 degrees celsius with uh, 2 bar pressure Now the solenoid injecting the stream into the chamber and it will go into 134 degrees Celsius. Now it is in 106 and make sure every board is fine. And let's wait for 134 degrees Celsius. After reaching 134, it will be going to sterilization phase, which will happening for four minutes. Now we should wait for four minutes, and the pressure is 2.1 bar now, and 134 degrees Celsius. In this phase, uh, the materials will be sterilized and we have to wait for 4 minutes to sterilize the things and after that vacuuming and drying will be started. and in this stage the pressure will be going to zero and after that 10 minutes of drying will be started so as you can see used water is going up and please use RO water or else the instrument will be rusted 
now we will be waiting for pre vacuuming stage which will be happening after this pl So now machine is working good and job is done. Thanks for watching and do subscribe and click the bell icon. Thank you so much. See you in another video.